Good morning, guys. It's Martina. I am working on getting some of our Somos units on uh, Google Apps so that you guys can use them for distance learning. And I wanted to share with you a really quick trick that Haley Ziegler helped me to figure out. Um, this is a way to put a password on your Google Forms so that your uh, students, especially if you need to administer an assessment over Google Forms so that they can't just um, take the link and send it out to their friends really easily. Um, it's not perfect, uh, it's not fail proof, but it will put some level of protection on it. So I'm gonna share my screen and you'll see this form that I'm working on. This is a listening assessment. You'll see that I put, um, what is your first and last name is the first question. So they have to put in something. Obviously students can lie, but it is a required question to make a question required in Google Forms. You just type the question and then you click toggle the required button. And then I said, what is the password? So I said, this is past classroom specific and time sensitive. Your teacher will be able to provide it to you. So what you do here, you make it required and then you click on these three little dots right here and you'll see response validation. So this is a short answer question. And what I'm gonna do for short answer text, I'm going to write um, regular expression contains, and then there's a word that they're gonna to have to include in their answer to this question. So I don't even tell them that they have to include it. I just say that it is a password and you have to use this word. And so I'll say that the password is computer. Um, and then you can put in an error text like, whoops, that's the wrong password. Uh, ask your teacher for the right one. So this would be something if they put in the wrong password, the message that they see. Um, but the word that they'll need to put in is computer. So again, make this required. And then what I'm going to do is add a new section. So students will only see when they click on this form, they will see these first two questions. They'll see um, what is your first and last name? And they'll see what's the password. And then it takes them to a new section. And so everything else will be in a new section. So I'm just gonna show you really quick what this looks like for students. If I send them the form, I'm gonna grab the link and the form, put it here. So when students see the form, this is what they'll see. So they see, what is your first last name? Bobby Boo. What is the password? Now, if they type in the word cow, whoops, they can't get it. If they type in computer though, then it takes them to the assessment. And now you at least have some kind of identifying information about them, although they could have lied, but at some level of protecting your assessment. So hope that was a helpful tip. I know um, we're gonna be using that a lot in our um, SOMOS assessments that we're adapting for digital learning. You guys totally got this. I know this is all new and crazy, but as we should find, figure out these little tricks, we can share them with each other and we are all gonna get through this.